This video covers comparing properties of linear functions given in different forms. So we're going to take all the knowledge that and all the tools that we have for working with linear equations and combine them all together um, to answer these questions. And we're going to do three examples. So four different linear functions are represented on the right. right. We want to answer which the following, which has the greatest y-intercept, which function has the graph of the y-intercept closest to zero, and which functions have graphs with slopes less than two. So a good thing might be to start by identifying the slopes, which are our m's, and our y-intercepts, which are our b's. So let's take a look at function one. So this one we've been given graphically. My slope is rise over run. So here I'm going down one, two, three, four, five over one. So that slope is negative five over one, which is just negative five. And my y-intercept appears to be five. For function two, my remember, um, we can calculate our slope by taking the change in y over the change in x. So I'm going to pick any two points. So let's this be x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'm going to take 5 minus 1 over 1 minus 0. That gives me a slope of 4 over 1, which is 4. So that's my slope. And then remember our y-intercept, we could also write it as an ordered pair. It's when our x is 0. So this right here would be my y-intercept. So b here, just so I have it written down, b is 1. For function 3, I'm given it in a graphical form. I see that my slope is negative 3 and my y-intercept is negative 2. And then function 4, I'm just told that my slope is 1 and my y-intercept is negative four. And we could write the equation for that, but we don't have to. So which function has the greatest y-intercept? So my options are negative four, let's circle that, let's start in green. So my options are negative four, negative two, five, or one. Those are my options. So that means the greatest y-intercept is function one with a y-intercept of 4. Which function has the graph with the y-intercept closest to 0? Well, closest means like absolute distance, so I think that would be function 2, whose y-intercept is 1. And which functions have graphs with slopes less than 2? Well, um, the slope of function 1 is negative 5, so that's going to be less than 2. Function 2 has a slope of 4, so that's not. Function 3 has a slope of negative 2. That is less than 2. So we'll call that function 3. And function 4 has a slope of 1, so function 4 is included as well. All right, let's do a couple more examples. So I'm given another four functions. I'm going to start by labeling my slopes and my y-intercepts because that's what they're asking me about. This function here has a slope of 1. I go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, so its slope is 1. It has a y-intercept of 3. For function 2, my y-intercept, we always want to look for where x is 0. So my b is 5, and my slope. I'll take this to be x1, y1, x2, y2, and we can calculate our slope. So I've got my change in y, so I've got 3 minus 5 over 1 minus 0. That's negative 2. For function 3, my slope is 3, my y-intercept is negative 4, and for function 4, my slope is negative 4, my y-intercept is negative 2. So our first question is, which functions have the graph with a y-intercept greater than 5, sorry, greater than 4. Um, the only function we have with a y-intercept greater than 4 would be function number 2 because its y-intercept is 5. 
which function has the graph at the y-intercept closest to zero? So we've got 5, 3, negative 4, and negative 2. I guess it'd be negative 2, so it's going to be number 4. And which function has the graph with the greatest slope? So I've got a slope of 1, 3, negative 4, and negative 2, so it's going to be the one with 3, number 3. Okay, our last example on this subject. So I have here my function one. Let's start by labeling our slopes and our y-intercept. My b is five, and my slope inter and my slope is you go down three over one. So my slope is negative three. Function two, I have my b is two because that's when my x is zero. We can calculate our slope. So let's say I have x one y one, x two y two. I've got 7 minus 5 over 1 minus 7 minus 2 over 1 minus 0. So that gives me a slope of 5. For function 3, my slope's negative 1. My y-intercept is negative 4. And for function 4, my slope is 2. My y-intercept is negative 1. Which function has the graph with the greatest y-intercept? Well, that's going to be function number 1 because its y-intercept is 5. The next greatest would have been 2 and then negative one, and then negative four. Which function has the graph with a y-intercept closest to zero? So I've got a y-intercept of two and a y-intercept of negative one, but negative one's closer to zero, so it's gonna be number four. And which functions have graphs with y-intercepts greater than four? Um, it's gonna be none of them, right? Because I've got negative three, two, negative four, and negative one, so it's gonna be none, that's an option as well.